Imagine an 89-year-old man solving the problem of electricity and water crisis in a housing society as big as this in Mumbai. Let's meet the man who turned this into a reality. My name is Naveen Chandra. Quite old now from the world standard, I'm 89. I retired in the year 2000. And then I thought that I will work not for any company, but for the society or for the people. When I came to the society, we found that there was shortage of water. We used to take two tankers of water per week. We used to buy that. Now you can imagine that, number one, that water is not good, it's dirty. And the other was, it costs money. So that's how I started thinking, what can we do to do, solve these problems? And that's how water, water conservation and uh, rainwater harvesting. I didn't know anything about these things, so I learned from the, some people. And we started rainwater harvesting in this society. This is going on. From that time till today, we have not taken any tankers. In fact, we have full water supply. We even supply water in times of need to the neighbors. The other was this, the electricity. You are short of 500 megawatts. The city is still short and the population is increasing. So we thought of naturally of the solar energy. Now, we put up uh, the solar panels on the rooftop and from that we are producing electricity. About 200 lights and fans are dependent on the solar, solar energy. So that's how we save about 50% uh, of the requirement that we have. In the monsoon there is a strong wind and we are facing the sea. So therefore that windmill production compensates for the loss in the monsoon. So you never feel the loss of energy. Then comes the wastage. And the wet waste is put at one place in the pits and we put some worms etc. We produce the, the manure. That manure is used in this plant and thereby we reduce the quantity of wet waste to nil, practically nil. My feeling is that those who are not realizing the seriousness of the problem will come to know it very, very, I would say personally in the next 10 years time. It will hurt them very badly one way or the other. So therefore the only way is do something yourself. Just support people. For example, if you are using water, if you are using electricity, if you are living, you are using energy, gas and the air. Do something to maintain it, to, to really keep it clean. Otherwise, you will only be in trouble. And you can, you are writing your own death warrant. That's it.